Okay, so let's do the cartwheel pass. So cartwheel pass, it's important to know how to do it. First of all, do a cartwheel halfway decent. A lot of guys always talk about this. They, in their mind, they're doing a cartwheel. What they're really doing is they're placing a the hand here and they're jumping sideways here and they think they're high. It's not just because of the aesthetics here. What you really want to do is that you need to be it with your legs at least, you know, in this angle here. If not, if you cannot do vertical. Because if you go low, the first thing when he sees it coming, he's going to place his back on the, on the mat and he's going to raise his legs. So if I go low, something is going to catch like this here and I'm going to end up not being able to pass. So it's important to go high. It's not just to make things look good. So first thing, you approach the guard staggered. Okay? Always staggered, making sure the danger is unilateral here with that lead hand protecting. In case he tries to close the distance here, you're going to get a head tie and block that. Make sure you have distance here. Never let the guy start to <coughs> hook into this here. So before I get in there, I'm moving around, faking, faking. And now I want my toes exactly where they are here. So imagine a triangle here. You're going to place your toes on the apex of that triangle. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my fingers here on the ground pointing to my toes. Okay. So don't do this here because you're going to have to twist in the air. It's going to be more complicated. So it's easier to start with them pointing towards you. When I do the cartwheel, I'm going to slow it down here. But this hand, the trail hand, my goal is to try to shoot it right here under his arm. So that when I finish, I'm going to try to finish in this position here where I have a seat belt. I could have an alternative to go straight for the arm bar here. But for now, we're just going to try to control him and put him down here. Okay? So now I'm going to do one so you can see more or less. So you, here, you're going to go this position here, clamp. Okay? Now once you clamp, what are you going to do depends on him. So we're right here, fake, fake, you know, change levels, get him, you know, thinking about something else. Then you go this hand straight for that gap there. So here, straight for the gap, get that control, and now you can think. You can see that the arm is already here, you might want to attack the arm, you might want to attack the neck with it when it gives you. So here, fake, fake, boom, take control, all right? Very simple, it's good.